All right, people. We have a lot of stuff to discuss here, real quick. Not real quick. We have a lot of stuff here to discuss. Case by have fifteen here. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Steelers picks today for day two of the NFL 2017 draft. Um, shocking to me in some, but like eh, I, mixed feelings. But we'll start off with the first pick of the day. Uh, round two, pick number thirty. Uh, so like pick sixty two, I believe. The Steelers took Juju Smith. Schuster, I believe, or some crazy some fucking name like that. Um, receiver out of USC. And I was, in, in my pre-draft rankings of like where we needed everything, wide receiver was fairly high to me, to be honest with you. I had tight end ranked higher, honestly, in my opinion. I'd rather have tight end gone, but receiver, I understand completely. Um, let me explain the reasoning behind this pick. First off, BPA, because all a lot of the good DBs around two were gone. So Pittsburgh's probably like, well, a lot of our guys here are gone. Um, so they took, uh, um, they took uh, Juju Smith, and um, he's a good outside guy. He's six one, six two, I believe. Um, they got him mainly for the reason of they, they got a lot, of, they got a lot of receivers now. Um, for the reason of Brian is a question mark, Coates is a question mark, and Brown's only gonna be there for so long. So you need a future guy and a guy to be able to contribute now, and he will be able to contribute now. Um, so you got Brown at the one, Brian at the two, and now you have Juju Smith competing with Sammy Coates for that third spot. Depending on how Coates bounces bounces back. In the beginning of last year, he actually was decent. He'd get you two catches for two big gains. Other than that, he was just a one trick pony, big deep plate type of dude. So. I understand taking a receiver here, especially how Pittsburgh is, their BPA, you know, he was one of the top five, top six ranked receivers on the board, and he was on their board, obviously, so, um, I'd say, roll, stop, I would say this is a B minus, C plus pick to me, um, depending on how he develops, I think he'll be pretty decent with Pittsburgh, um, but a lot of people are bitching about it, I'm like, you know, let's look at the facts here, people, we put up nine points against New England at the end of the first half. Up to the third quarter. Nine points. That's pathetic. For all the hype that our offense has, that's pathetic. I understand that ball got injured, but when you have a quarterback as good as Ben and Brown as a receiver, Rose, you should be able to put more points than nine points. That's sad. And you know what? That goes down to Bryant being gone. Colts can't can't catch the ball because he was injured. Colby Hamilton's a private squad. And DeMarcus, DeMarcus Ayers, I can't blame him. He was a seventh-round pick. He wasn't even active. So... The fact that people are saying, oh, the defense, the defense, the defense, the defense. Listen here, people. Pittsburgh only put up nine points almost basically the entire game against New England. Nine points. No team's going to be able to hold New England to below nine points. That's just unrealistic. Tom Brady and Belichick will. Tom Brady and Bill Belichick will throw out your defense. So listen, you can have all the defense you want, but if you can't score points against Tom Brady and get and convert third downs and keep him off the field, you're not going to win ball games. You got to outscore New England. You can't expect to beat them six to three. It's not going to happen. It does not happen. So we needed another receiver, and I understand the pick. People are going to be pissed off, but it's like you know, fuck off. You know, you're, that's why you're not in there. That's why you're not as a scout or a pro GM or a pro coach because you don't know anything. You think you know? You, no, you don't know anything. So. I like the pick. At the moment, I was like, "Eh, should I take a DB?" But you know what? I knew we take a, th I knew we take one in the third round, and that's what we did. So, Juju Smith, welcome to Pittsburgh. You're gonna ball out probably here in a couple of years, or this year you'll probably be a, eh, 400, 500 yard receiver with six touchdowns, five touchdowns. You know, we'll see. Injuries may happen. And here's another thing: what if AB gets injured? Hello, people don't understand. How funny thing can happen? You need depth everywhere, especially on offense. So. You know, when there's a game where Ben's not playing good or, you know, or just shit like that, you never know, you know. So, we took Juju Smith, Schuster with our uh, second round pick, pick number uh, 30. Um, pick 62, technically, I guess. On the third round, with our first pick, um, we took Cameron Sutton out of Tennessee, a cornerback. I believe he's about 5'10", close to 5'11". Uh, I heard a lot of good things about him. Um. We need a good cornerback. We needed a third slot or maybe a second. I wish we would have taken Jordan Lewis in the second round. Honestly, think about it because Dallas took him one pick before we did. Oh, my God, dude. Fuck. That pissed. I was like, sweet. He went to Dallas, but shit. He could have went to Pittsburgh. Damn it, dude. Fuck. 
But we got Cameron Sun. I'm okay with that. I'll say this is a B. It's a solid B for me. We needed a defensive back throw and quit bitching. And we have actually have another good, decent or another potential corner. So now we have Artie Burns at the one. Raj Tech rolled the two. William Gay at the three. And now we have Cameron Sutton trying to hopefully get some. So hopefully he's good. Hopefully he's better than Golson or any other DB is a Pittsburgh pick. Because other than Burns and there's some other dudes, they haven't done shit. They can't, they can't scout DBs at all. So hopefully this dude turns to be decent. Special teamer. Maybe a slot third. Um, I'd be cool with that. Um, I like the pick. We need a DB. A DB. A DB. <laughs> uh, we need a DB. So made sense to me. I liked it. And with the Steelers compensatory selection, the Steelers took James Conner, running back out of Pittsburgh. Uh... I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting, you know, another thing that made sense to me. It's funny because Pittsburgh felt what needs I exactly clarified. Receiver running back on offense. Linebacker defensive back on defense. Hmm. Who knows their shit? I do. That's right. I know my stuff. All right. It took a power back out of Pitt. A good solid power back who's going to be able to do some good goal line red zone work and can potentially be a good... Back up to Bell. When Bell gets hurt or when he leaves or when he gets suspended or some stupid shit's going to happen because he's not dependable. Just like Bryant. He's not dependable. He's going to get injured at some point or he's going to get suspended or he's going to leave after the franchise tag. I hope we, t I hope we contract him, but we got to make sure this dude's dependable because he ain't there all the time. What's the point of having him paying him $30 million or $40 million? You know, you ain't. It's a waste. So I'm sorry, but I like you, man, but you got to get your shit together. You got to keep off the drugs. And if you get drug tested, you got to show up to the drug test. All right? He's our key to everything on offense. And you know what? I'm glad we took a running back. Because I don't think about it. When Bell went down to New England, we couldn't do shit. We had D'Angelo, but we ain't signing him for whatever reason. But we got we got Toussaint and we got Nala Davis. Come on now. Eh. Meh. Meh. Not good at all. James Conner, solid, solid uh, back up to Bell. And I think... He'll potentially actually play some this year. Hopefully, I hope so because I'm tired of them running Bell 40 carries a damn game. That's why the boy. That's why he gets injured, or because you you guys don't get to do the rest. I understand he's a highly conditioned athlete, but there's no reason why you cannot give it to your backup. Give him six carries. Just keep Bell down to 18, 17, maybe 20 carries a game, 25 or 30. Not necessary. It's not necessary. This is why running backs get so. This, their, their careers are so short because y'all just run them and run them and run them. You, you guys need to run a 65, 35% back situation, meaning 65 of the carries go to the starter, 35% go to the backup. Run, run, um, run James Kyle a little bit, you know, give him six carries a game, give him the, some red zone work, give him some work, you know. I like the pick. I honestly do like this pick. I like the Steelers taking receiver running back. A lot of people are going to say, eh, we don't need offense. You can't just ignore one side of the ball and be like, eh, we Gucci. You know, Green, he ain't going to be there. Jesse James is all right. Eh, Brian's probably, Brian, meh, he'll be all right. No, call, no. I ain't think that bad of all people, so you need to be sure for all situations. So we got a, a solid number two or three receiver. Plus, we got Justin Hunter. We got Darius Hayward Bay. Our Receivers, we're stacked. We're fine now. We are fine now. There's no hole there. Um, tight ends, I wish we could have... I kind of wish we took Jake Butt, but... Maybe he'll... But, but... Maybe he'll maybe take him in the fourth round. I kind of want him, to be honest with you. He'll be a solid... I think he'll be a good number one tight end in the league, so... Um, I'll give Juju Smith a C+, plus, B-. Minus. I'll give Cameron Sutton a B. And I'll give James Conner a B+. Plus. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, that's what I got to say, and, uh, I gave a lot of insight and opinions, and it was well needed. Well needed. So tomorrow is the day three, four, five, rounds four, five, six, and seven. I don't know how many picks they have, but I know they have a pick for each round, I think. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow. I kind of low-key want a quarterback, maybe. Or I want another outside linebacker, or a middle linebacker, or maybe a safety. So, we'll see. I don't know. Pittsburgh is unpredictable. I expected a defensive back in the third round, but I wasn't expecting a receiver in the second, and I was not expecting a running back in the third round either. So, Pittsburgh's unpredictable, but I think they always do the right moves, in my opinion. So, see you later. I'm out. Case Land 15. Appreciate all the.
comments and uh, all that stuff, you know. So, I remember a good day.